Hey guys, it's April from Good Books and Good Wine coming at you with a, another video today. This time it's on my November TBR pile. And I have 16 books picked out here because typically I read like 20 some odd books per month because I'm really weird and don't really have a life. So yeah, let's get started with the books I want to read. First up is In Your Dreams by Kristen Higgins. I have read a couple of her books so far. Every book in her Blue Heron series. And I love that series. And this is Christmas themed with a German Shepherd. And somebody I already know has read this book and enjoyed it. So I'm pumped to see what happens next in her series. Christmas at Twilight by Lori Wilde and basically I want to read this because it's a Christmas themed book and so that way in December I can go through and do my 25 days of Christmas book reviews because I'm that hardcore. Tomboy by Liz Prince because I have a blog tour post coming up for it that a review is due. The Christmas Wedding Ring by Susan Mallory also because Christmas books are the bomb. Does anybody even say the bomb anymore? Like, that's how old I am. I can't even think of another, like, sighting that means Christmas books are awesome. The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand. And I'm going to read this book in November because I'm so sick of denying myself books that I'm excited for. Um, just because they come out a lot later than when I have the copy in my hands. And I have the copy in my hand right now. The Tiger Queens by Stephanie Thornton because Genghis Khan is awesome and also because I'm up for a blog tour for this and I haven't read a lot of historical fiction lately and I'm really missing that so I think November is going to be a time to reconnect with one of my favorite genres. I'll Meet You There by Heather Dimitrios because road trip books are the best. No Parking at the End Times by Brian Bliss essentially because it's been compared to Sarah Zar, David Levithan, and Rainbow Rowell. So that means it's going to be beautifully written and I'm going to need that, I think. Stay With Me by Jennifer L. Armentrop or Jalen because I, for serious, can't ever resist new adult books. And also, every time I look at this book cover, the Sam Smith song gets stuck in my head. And... I figure if I read this, then I can put it someplace else and that song won't be in my head anymore. A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. Um, basically, I am reading this book because everybody else in the world seems to be reading it now. Um, they also have all these really nice finished pretty covers and copies and I just have the boring final art to come uh, cover, which isn't the best, but whatever. The Secret Sky by Atia Abui because this book came in the mail from Penguin and I want Penguin desperately to like me so I'm going to read this book. Also it's about um, people from, oh, from Afghanistan um, so it sounds like it's going to be really good. Also the cover is gorgeous. Yay, yay diverse books. End Singer by Jay Kristoff because this series is a badass and I just want to see what happens with the griffin and uh, I, I don't even know like it inspires like a can't even speak reaction in me. Dreamer's Pool by Julia Marillia because it's fantasy and also because I promised the publicist I would read it and have a review in November and I don't often promise publicist things but for Julia Marillia I'll do anything. Well, within reason. Winter Spell by Clarelit Grand because I think this could count as a Christmas book. It's like a retelling of the Nutcracker, I think. Yeah, maybe. But it's a Christmas book, okay? Christmas. So it's going up in my 25 Days of Christmas reviews in December. Get better watch for this because I'm going to go all Clark Griswold over it. Seriously. Air of Fire by Sarah J. Moss because I put this book in every single freaking TBR video, which means that eventually I'll read it because, again, it's in every single freaking TBR video. And finally, Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness because it's time. Also, I have a vacation coming up, so when I read this, I can, you know, stay home and sob and just be sad over Todd and Viola and 
the spackle. I don't even remember the spackle's name. Like the one from the last book. Did he have a name? Anyways, so that is my TBR for November. What books are you reading this month? Let me know down in the comments and we'll just, we'll have a chat. It'll be fun. Okay guys, bye.